So what's your outlook on, on Asian currencies in general? Because they haven't quite gone lo in lockstep with the Fed in terms of hiking rates. Yes, they've hiked rates, but not as much. So this is a different environment in that sense from previous cycles. Yeah, I think, I think when you look at Asia on a whole, right, you know, they, they've been a little bit late to hike, you know, different countries, you know, different characteristics. Korea, for example, was, was, was very quick to start hiking rates initially, whereas the bulk of other Asian currencies were a little bit slower to hike and they haven't moved to lockstep, as you've mentioned. Uh, they've, they've hiked in actually smaller increments. And it's, it's the fact that a lot of the inflationary pressures has been taken by uh, fiscal policy, right? You know, we've had subsidies across a lot of different countries in this region. Um, so now that they've started slower, um, you know, they, they, they will likely uh, keep hiking, even if, let's say, the Fed stops hiking. And I expect, um, you know, quite a few central banks here actually to, to stay on hold longer. Uh, once they've reached that sort of peak neutral policy rate, I expect the bulk of, of, of Asian uh, central banks to stay on hold longer, uh, while other EM countries, for example, start cutting policy rates. So I expect currencies actually to outperform in that regard, given uh, the slightly more hawkish stance, uh, late hawkish stance, but still hawkish stance going forward.